kids. We're going to win. I can feel it in, in I can feel it in my bones. We're going to win. What I'm going to advise you about it is let him look for a new seat. This one was this one was found for him in a great hurry in the in the middle of the of the of the tremendous battle uh, which uh, opened my my uh, charge of the nation's affairs, the terrible battle of Europe, and he, he came in. And now there are lots. You may be quite sure if you feel tender-hearted about him that the Labour Party, Socialist Party, or Labour as they like to call themselves, although they're not the only people who work in this country. You may, you may be quite sure that they'll be able to find him another seat somewhere else. <laughs> and they might find him another... Uh, oh, that's not excluding. Uh, 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 might, uh, they might be able to find him another job. Uh, he might take uh, Professor Lasky's place. It'd be a very good thing for England if he did. I ask you to give me a chance to finish this job. to compliment you in Lewisham upon the fortitude and the courage with which you have withstood your long and painful ordeal. Now I dare say there are some here who are afraid to hear my words. You better listen because you find it interesting. I understand that Mr. Morrison has um, has made a, a statement to the effect that I am responsible for British black and good faith and uh, thoroughly characteristic of Mr. Herbert Morrison himself. I don't want to meet, uh, mix up grave matters with, with those which are less important. But uh, uh, the care that this man took before the war to prevent uh, the cadets being allowed to drill in the poor little school rounds that were available is not to his credit. It's not to his credit. And of all the colleagues I've lost is the one I'm least sorry to have seen the last of.